It's just on my heart to speak to someone, a gentleman, but this would apply to other men who may be in the situation. And it is simply that God has forgiven you for your past. God has forgiven you for your past. You may have been, what's in my heart is that you have been a person that you used to be, um, maybe you used women. You were uh, what they would call a player. You were a playboy. You used women. And you've moved on. You've accepted the Lord in your life. But yet you are struggling with some things. You're struggling with your past. You're struggling with maybe some things that are coming up that are reminders. And you may even have women in your past who are resurfacing or who may see you being a Christian now and they're very cynical and they're very bitter and they're very hurt about that. And I sense sometimes you hesitate and you question yourself because there's guilt and shame in what you've done. So you're like, uh, you're struggling with forgiveness. You're going back and you're thinking about what you've done and what they remind you of. But I want to tell you that the thing that you need to be reminded of most importantly, and most of all, is that you have been forgiven by God. You've been forgiven by God. And whatever he has called you to do, and the audience in which he has called you to minister to, and the position he has placed you in, don't mess that up. Don't mess that up. By allowing yourself to go back to your past and remembering the old you, the old you, the old man that... You used to be that these women identify with people who have known you. They say, oh, this is who you are. They don't believe that you're a, you're a Christian. They're cynical. They're even angry and they think it's ridiculous. But God has sent me here this morning to tell you that he has forgiven you. He has laid your sins away. He's placed it in the depths of the sea. He has called you for a time as this. He knows your beginnings. He knows how you got to be where you are, where you used to be, and he knows where he is taking you. He's going to give you an expected and expected end, but you must be in a place to come. There's a parable of Jesus who sent out his messengers. Uh, it, it's about, he gave a, about a king who sent out his, his servants to call those who were, had been invited to the banquet, but they were too busy to come. And sometimes I want you to understand that when you, when you have been forgiven and God invites you to come, you can reject and forfeit your, forfeit your invitation because you're still holding on to what you've done. You can't come because you're busy thinking about how unworthy you are and who you used to be. You're too, you can't come to the banquet and come to this table and come to this place that God wants to take you to because you're, you're listening to the narrative of those who've known the old you. And you don't want to miss out on God. Because if you keep meditating on the past, you're going to go back to it. What you meditate on and what's in your mind will eventually begin to sow seeds and spring up and bring life and action through your, through your actions and through your behavior and through your choices. These women who are hurt... Some you can apologize to and you have. I'll leave it there. Others, you can't even open that box. Some situations, don't go back to it. Don't open that box. Don't open that situation. And others, you can only go to God and ask him to forgive you. And all you can do is pray for the hearts of those women that they can be healed. And they will, they will be able to find peace again. But don't make a mistake in an era in beginning to condemn yourself and beginning to doubt your walk in the Lord and find yourself unworthy. None of us are worthy of salvation, but God has chosen you and he has accepted you and he has forgiven you and he needs you to do the same. God bless.